Hi Aquarius, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we're getting you some messages. Let's see what's going on in your energy and what your angels and guides would like to tell you at this time. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? Here we go. All right, Aquarius, let's get your cards. Tower. King of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Four of Swords. Ten of Cups. All right. Aquarius, I don't like to, I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but there's going to be some kind of a major shakeup in your life. It's a tower moment, and the tower moment can be with your King of Pentacles, whoever that is for you. King of Pentacles is somebody who is good with money, somebody who knows how to make money, somebody who, um, you know, knows how to, uh, everything works out for them. Some way, somehow, they just, everything always works out for them because they're the King of Pentacles. Um, they might not be very fast moving or have a lot of energy, but they are uh, definitely somebody that I'm sure you'll recognize. Now they are your soulmate. They are your soulmate. And this tower moment is going to put you in a little bit of a time out here with that four of swords. It's going to have you thinking about things, wondering what to do, how to handle this, you know, where, how do you go on from here? But the good news is that you're getting your Ten of Cups. You will be happy. You will be happy. Your Ten of Cups is here for you. So we just have to figure out how to get to that Ten of Cups, right? But, you know, there will, there will be some kind of a shakeup. There will be a tower moment. I just pray that the rug doesn't get ripped out from underneath your feet. I pray that you see that this is coming. And that you're able to handle it. Whatever this is. It's a major life change. The tower moments cause uh, life to change a little bit for you. So get ready Aquarius. Tower moments always happen for our highest good. They might not feel good when they're happening. But they do always happen for our highest good. They happen for a reason. It's to put us back on the path we're meant to be on. All right, we have four of pentacles, nine of swords, nine of wands, double nines, and three of pentacles. You're seeing double nines. You know that what I'm saying is right. <laughs> or you know something's close at hand. Maybe that tower moment. Or maybe that's just to say you're going to survive this. You're going to be okay. But anyway, four, four of pentacles is holding on too tightly to something. You got to let go. There's something you got to let go of. You're holding on way too tightly because you're afraid. You're afraid of letting go. That's what that nine of swords is. You're all up in your head. You're losing sleep. You have a lot of anxiety. You're afraid to let go. You also have double fours here, just so you know. Nine of wands is um, saying that you have the strength to get through this. You're the wounded warrior. Just keep going. Keep going. You'll be okay. Just don't give up yet. You will be rewarded with the Three of Pentacles. That's somebody you're going to work together with or some, some kind of recognition or, re or reward is coming in for you and that could be your Ten of Cups. Okay, so whatever happens here, whatever this Tower moment is, it really is going to lead you to this recognition, this reward, this happiness. But there's something we got to let go of. We just, we just got to let it go. It's not serving us. It's not doing... Um, us what it's supposed to be it's not doing for us what it's supposed to be doing for us it's just not um, and it could be that you have to let go of this king of pentacles you have to let go of this soulmate of yours if you want to find happiness you got to let this person go it could be that but your happiness is coming in for you you just have to make a really hard decision I think or something's going to happen that you have to deal with you have to deal with the uh consequences of actions maybe oh just dumped all the all the cards here hang on 
Yeah, I just pull my own hair. <laughs> so I don't know if somebody's pulling your hair or what. <laughs> Somebody just pulled my hair. I did it, but letting go. I surrender. I I surrender joyless joy joyously to the ebbing and flowing of life. So we just gotta let it go and allow what let God take the wheel here. Surrender. Let 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 him handle things, okay? Let source energy take care of it. Summer. Everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. So it looks like you're going to have a good summer. I think thanks, that's when your happiness is coming in. So you have some things to get through from between now and the summertime. Um, but... Everything's going to work out for you. Sorry, yawning. Change. When the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you can come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution. Change. A change is happening. Change is happening for a reason. A change is going to come in. And it might shake things up for you. And it might be scary. But it's going to lead you to happiness. caught it <laughs> all right epiphany seek clarity you're gonna have a light bulb moment you're gonna have this epiphany you're gonna know what to do you're gonna understand things when this tower moment happens you might be a little all up in your head and worried and scared but once you take this time out where you're breathing you're you're asking god or source for answers what to do the next steps you're going to have this light bulb moment. You're going to have this epiphany where you'll just understand. You'll know what you have to do. Adjustments are required. What are adjustments? It's a change. A change needs to happen. You got change. You got a tower moment. So a change is coming. Be prepared because it's coming. And I'm not saying that as it's a bad thing. It could be a really good change. It could be a great change. It's, it's going to lead you to happiness. So it probably is a great change. But just be prepared for it. Because change sometimes isn't easy to deal with. Or the most fun. But you're going to flirt. You're going to have a little bit more fun. You're going to be a little bit more lighthearted. If you just like don't take the weight of the world on your shoulders if you just kind of keep it light let go loosen the grip have some fun flirt things will work out for you healing Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light, feeling your relationship being healed this very moment. So they want you to visualize. They want you to visualize that not only are you healed, but your person is healed, your soulmate is healed, and that your relationship, the energy between the two of you is healed, and that everything's going to be okay between the two of you. If you can visualize that, you can make it happen. All right, your dreams of Gaia tarot card is five of water, which usually is five of cups. So let's uh, let's see what the meaning is here. Five of water, keywords, loss, betrayal, fear, doubt, isolation. The five of water represents Feelings of fear, doubt, and hopelessness that can cloud our minds and hearts and give rise to confusion, misunderstanding, and anger. These emotions are often born of our own pain or insecurities and can cloud our ability to see the love that surrounds us. All too often when we experience a moment of great hurt or loss, we can feel alone, 
as if no one could possibly understand the depths of our anguish we are feeling. Whether it be an end of a marriage or a friendship, the death of a loved one, or a battle with mental illness, we can sometimes find ourselves weighed down by pain and suffering and blind to the beauty and love that surrounds us. Loss of any kind causes us to experience a range of emotions, including sadness, fear, confusion, guilt, regret, anger, and betrayal. So the Five of Cards is a challenging card because it's not only because it is not one that offers any real comfort. Loss is something we all experience, and we are vulnerable and sensitive to hurt, and then it can be overwhelming. So the Five of Water symbolizes the need to allow yourself to work through your grief and to take as much time as you need. There's that time out after this tower moment. Allow your emotions to flow and flow along. Don't hold on to them too tightly. Let them go. Allow them to flow. Okay. Um, Look up. You're not alone. Okay. There's people here around you who will understand your your what you're going through and there's also spirit here that will help you get through it so you have something coming up Aquarius that's not going to be really easy to get through I can't say when it's coming in but there is a tower moment coming in so it's gonna it's gonna cause you to feel like lost and sad but you're gonna get through it you will find your happiness happiness is waiting for you on the other side of it so face your fears, face them, and uh, you'll know what to do. All right, let me get you a few charms here. The seashell, which is, okay, use your knowledge. Be smart about this. Make, make the right decisions, okay? You have fairies here. So the fairies are saying, we're going to support you as much as we can, okay? We will, we will try and make some magic happen for you and help you get through this. You have my skull, which is always representative of the death card. So something is coming to an end. Something has to change, right? And you will recover from it, but you might recover from it a little slowly because you're going to be in your feels for a while. You have to feel it and you have to feel it in order to get past it. So that's the right move. Feel your pain, let it go, let it loose and then release it. Sorry, I didn't have better news for you, Aquarius. I don't like giving this reading. I wish it was all full of love and light, but, you know, we all have ups and downs in life, and we all have trials and tribulations we have to go through. That's what we came here for, to learn, to grow. The good news is that you will be happy. You will be happy once you get through it. So... All right, Aquarius, that's what I got for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.